Okay, this is the North Face Bullfrog Ten. Uh, this is the first of our high performance tents that we've been putting out today. Uh, it's a nice light tent. It's got two windows. Was well, one in the door that's kind of large, and the smaller one in the rear. There will be a vestibule, which is an area outside of the tent, but that's still going to be undercover once we get the fly on. Um, this is a full-blown two-wall tent. The fly will come down fairly close to the the bottom, but there's still a uh, space where the air can circulate between the two walls and help ventilate the tent and make sure there's not too, condens too much condensation in there so it doesn't start to rain inside the tent during the cold night. So my son and I will begin to put out this tent, show you how easy it is. As always, we stake in our tents and after staking our tents, we set up our poles. These have sleeves, so we'll, my son has already put them in the sleeves. We'll go ahead and set the uh, poles up and you'll see how it is. Usually the more poles you have holding up your tent, the more sturdy, the more stable it is, especially in high winds. I've seen uh, this tent standing almost rock still, whereas, whereas uh, in the same camp area, uh, I've had other tents like the, uh, the economical tent. They're kind of flapping around in the breeze and this one is just steady as a rock. Beautiful tent. I've had it up in Haleakala. Kept me warm, kept me comfortable, had it in rain. Just really love this tent. Uh, my son has since inherited it. Uh, but every once in a while, I get to sleep in it too. Uh, very lightweight, nice uh, material. As I said, you know, this has been all over. We'll go ahead and put on the fly now. Okay, there you go. Now you have a fly. It's down close to the bottom, so when you have high wind coming up here, it doesn't blow any rain under there because it's a nice cool, uh, close gap. Once you open up your vestibule, You've got room to keep uh, maybe a small pack if you want to on the outside, but more than likely you're going to keep your boots out there um, where they'll still be sheltered from the rain if, if there is rain. And uh, you can go inside your tent and be comfortable, leave any muddy gear on the outside. Wonderful tent. Now we go over to the North Face Nimbus and take a look at that tent. This is a North Face Nimbus. Uh, it's a really neat two-man tent. You've seen a three-man tent that had a nice big door, a lot of uh, mesh in the door. There was a little mesh window in the back. The Nimbus has two doors in it, which means it also has two vestibules. The nice thing about the Nimbus is, as in other tents you see, they slip, the poles will slip into the sleeve. But when you push them through, there's a dead-end pocket. So you don't have to worry about coming here and attaching it there or, or it kind of slipping out of the grommets as you might with other tents. That's one of the nice things about the Nimbus. Uh, with two doors, if you sleep with two, two men in there or two people in there, if one person needs to get up at night, he doesn't have to step over the other person, he just goes out his very own door. And we'll go ahead and set up the Nimbus here. There you go, here's a basic tent. Um, as you may notice, there's a lot of mesh in the door, a lot of mesh on both sides, so you've got a good cross uh, ventilation. You've got a huge amount of uh, mesh on the top here as well as on both sides. The walls are nearly vertical, which means you're going to have to worry about some A-frame tents as they come in there and you kind of squoosh the inside. And we'll get to that in a little while. But the walls are nice and vertical, so you can sit up there. There's tons of room in here. Uh, it's a luxurious one-man tent, and it's got ample space in there for two men. Um, doors are nice and wide so you don't have to worry about when you're sticking equipment in here or if you're getting in and out. Now we'll go ahead and put the fly on there and the fly is what makes this tent even more unique and extremely versatile. Okay after a little bit of te technical difficulty uh, which proves that uh, you should practice with your tent before you take it out and actually uh, camp with it. Well it's been a while since I've been in this one but I really love this one. I'm going to put together the main vestibule. There's two of them, as I mentioned. One of the nice things about this tent is that they've got little bucket buckles on some of the ends. So after you put it up, as with a lot of tents, most tents in fact, after you've lived in it for a few hours, the tent may start to slack here and there. And instead of having to Go ahead and find out where your hammer is and restake 
a corner of the tent, all you have to do is pull down on that buckle or on that strap and the buckle will tension it out for you. This is where the tent really becomes neat. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and unzip this all the way here and flap the door open. And that will be fine and that's, that's how you normally get in and out of the tent. As this is the main vestibule, it has a neat feature. I can zip this door completely out if I wanted to. As you can see right now, I've got a nice, nice uh, shot of the inside of the tent. So if I have a breeze coming in this way, and it's just going to be wonderful, that's fine. That's all the adjustments I have to do. Treat this as a regular door. I've got a nice big vestibule here. Um, if I've got wind coming from the other side and it's raining and I want to do my cooking in the morning you can't put a stove in the tent but you can put your stove out here where you've got your, your stove protected by, from the wind by two sides of your vestibule but you've got it venting really nice here. Now I'm going to go in the back and uh, let me go ahead and reposition the camera and I'll give you the tour of the back and this is where it gets really neat. Okay, here I am in the back door, and it's not as adjustable as the front door. Front door actually has three zippers in it to make you to allow you to do whatever you wanted to do there. Here you've only got your traditional two zippers, but I've got the back door wide or the front door wide open. If I want a lot of through ventilation, I can leave it like this or completely zip the door open and remove it out to the side. So you can see there's a lot of ventilation. If it's raining. I've got this neat little hood up here that protects the, the rain from falling straight in, but I can still leave this much of the tent open so I can still get cross breeze in there. If it's a really stiff breeze, of course I just zip it up. But this is just such a wonderfully adjustable tent. Uh, you can adjust it just so many ways to get your ventilation going good. Uh, again, if I had to, open it up here and I could actually do the cooking the same way as I can in the front door. Uh, the door is, is nice and big in the back as well. Beautiful tent.